Alright, welcome to the channel, and in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how we are going to be able to do a car-to-car -car merge glitch in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online right now, to where we can go ahead and get F1s and binnies on vehicles that cannot normally have them. So, first things first here is we're going to go ahead and start up a session. We're going to have our friend go over to the LS car meet. And before we even start the glitch, let's make sure that we register as a CEO president. This is going to be a very important step. And then from here, we're going to make our way to the arena and we're going to find a ticket booth. So, we will have to go ahead and bounce off of either a friend that is sitting in an invite only Titan of a job that is in a different targeting mode or you guys can just bounce off of one of Anawak's bot accounts. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go ahead and sit on this alert right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and join Anawak right now, and we're gonna get an alert. So what we're gonna do once we get the alert is we're gonna go ahead and spam X or A three times real fast. We're gonna pop up in the clouds, and then go ahead and hit X again, or A. And then when we load back down, the indication to let us know that we hit the glitch is we are off the radar right now, as we have no mini map. So right now, my friend is going to go ahead and send me an invite over to the LS car meet. And then we're going to go ahead and continue on with the glitch, okay? All right, so at the LS car meet, what we're going to do is pop open our interaction menu. And let's go to either vehicles and request the personal vehicle that we have of already out that we want to merge. And or just call up your mechanic right now and call the car that you want to transfer the modifications from, okay? So once we go ahead and start up this sprint race, what's going to happen is I'm going to hold wire triangle to go ahead and restart. And then after the sprint race, we're going to make our way up to the LS Custom Shop, which is located a couple blocks up the road real quick. So let's make our way on up there. And then once we're here, let's pop open our interaction menu, go to CEO, go to vehicles, and then we're going to go ahead and request a buzzard helicopter at this time. All right, perfect. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and drive on down to the LS Custom Shop, which is located right around the corner here. So we're actually going to drive inside. So we're just going to go ahead and drive inside. And once we do get inside, let's back out one time and hold down the wire triangle button to respawn. And when we do this, we're going to get hit with an infinite black loading screen. So once again, we're going to need to join either Anawak or we're going to be joining a friend in a different targeting mode, accepting the first alert and then declining the second. Accept the first alert, decline the second. If there's a third alert, just go ahead and accept that. Now at this time, we're just going to go ahead and walk out of the LS Custom Shop and make our way towards our Buzzard Helicopter, which should be waiting for us, you know, right up on the road here. So we're going to get into our Buzzard Helicopter. We're going to pop open our interaction menu. You guys can go to Vehicles and then just hover over, you know, like basically return personal vehicle to storage. And then we're actually going to have to physically take the Buzzard and just fly it a little bit. And what's going to happen here is the Buzzard is going to respawn. And then we can go ahead and return personal vehicle to storage. That's going to be important. All right, there we go. We just respawn. Interaction menu. Vehicles. Return personal vehicle to storage. Just like that. Perfect. And then from here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to take this buzzard and we're going to fly it out to our yacht. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. So once we get out to our yacht, we're just going to simply call our captain and then just choose personal vehicle. And then from here, the modifications from the earlier vehicle are going to transfer over to this vehicle right here that we're about to call. So I'm going to take the modifications from that buffalo and I'm going to transfer them over to a Stromberg right now. Now, as soon as the Stromberg does spawn in, we're going to hold wire triangle to respawn once again. And when we respawn, we should respawn in the modded vehicle. And then all we're going to have to do after that time is just take it and save it. So if it is a weaponized vehicle, you guys are going to have to call out your um, Avenger that has the weaponized vehicle like back in it. And then if not, you guys could just take a car to the LS Custom Shop, which I'm about to do with this one right here. Even though it is weaponized, it'll allow me to go to the LS Customs because we're going to need to change one thing on this vehicle to make sure that the modifications stick. So we're just going to drive in, change one thing. I just normally choose like the cheapest armor and then just change it back to the 100% armor. And then bing, bang, boom, we are done. Just modded a car in Grand Theft Auto 5 using the current merge glitch working right now in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So if you guys ended up enjoying the video, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, leave a comment, and thanks for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So peace.